What's up YouTube, this is Detroit Borg with a look at wireless syncing for iOS 5. Now this is made possible thanks to the release of the second beta for iOS 5 and iTunes 10.5, so you will need both in order for this to work. So first you'll need to connect, physically connect your devices to your iTunes computer. Once that's done, all you have to do is go to the summary and under options, select sync over Wi-Fi connection. In this case, we're doing my iPad too. So what this will do is enable this to work whenever your device is connected wirelessly to your home network. So of course your iTunes computer does need to be on in order for this to work. Now syncing will happen automatically. The devices will determine when they should sync. However, you can force this in two ways. You can do it from iTunes or from the device. From iTunes, you can see that my iPad 2, even though it's been disconnected physically from the computer, it's still connected over Wi-Fi. So I can still see the device and manage it from here. So just select the device and click sync. So it's automatically over Wi-Fi starting the sync. Now we can look at my device and see that it is actually syncing. There's that uh, sync icon on the top of the home screen. Now if you want to see more details, you can go to general settings and click on iTunes sync and you can see the progress indicator there. You can also do this from the device. Again, go to that same place in your settings, tap sync now and it will automatically connect to iTunes and perform the sync. So once again, guys, that's wireless syncing through iOS 5. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.